Oh my god, is this actually going to work? What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you yet another brand new video. And like I said uh, in the video I posted, the mass minion, uh, that 10v10 mass minion attack uh, out of Crantonimo Bay, at the end of the video I said, hit me up, whether it's in YouTube, whether it is on Discord, uh, hit me up if you have an insane attack, a non-med attack, uh, something that pretty much nobody is used to seeing uh, attacks definitely out of the ordinary, let me know. And that is exactly what we're going to be featuring on the channel today. Uh, I stopped by Dark Avengers. Um, for those of you that don't know the clan Dark Avengers, they were in CWL Invite uh, in Season 1, and they were in Season 2 and Season 3 in CWL Premiere. Awesome, awesome group. Uh, they've been around for a very long time. Uh, one of their co-leaders hit me up and said, you have got to come check out this insane 10v11 attack. So again, that is exactly what this video is going to be on. And I'm telling you guys, um, I'm definitely, I, I think I'm delivering uh, when I'm telling you guys we're showing you some of the most incredible 10v10 attacks. Uh, we've also featured a different 10v11 attack on uh, the channel. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Revisiting 10v11. This attack is going to change the way you look at 10v11 forever. Let's do it. All right, guys. So here's a look at the base. Uh, just to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, we had Kala Drilling, who was practicing some FCs against Drew and thought, you know what, what if I tried Goblins? Uh, I'm, I'm sure most of you watching this know that Goblins target resources and the Town Hall being a resource. Uh, sometimes uh, when you're trying to do certain Valk attacks and things like that, uh, who attack any building, you have to really set an absolute insane uh, funnel. Uh, that's how oftentimes it goes down uh, 10 v 11. With goblins, that's not the case. It's truly a matter of resources. And uh, the only resource that we see right in the center is the town hall and the clan castle. So we're getting this started. Uh, notice he did drop one hog to go ahead and get the CC lure. And he is bringing a queen walk to this attack. Uh, you see the, the hound up there at 12 o'clock. Bloon uh, following behind. He does have a poison to go ahead and work through that. Uh, he did try this, I believe it was two, maybe three times at the most. Uh, but regardless, this is an attack uh, that Collar Drilling has been practicing. And to uh, my surprise, a lot of success. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if those goblins are actually going to take out the town hall. Uh, this is uh, obviously a fully maxed Town Hall 11. You see the queen's working. Uh, she's just trying to beat through uh, that gold storage up there at 12 o'clock, uh, trying to figure out which way she's don't, uh, going to be going. And as we can see, she is going to be heading down. He also has uh, five wall breakers, 10 balloons, and he does have six Valkyries as well. And same with a pair of baby dragons, just trying to help uh, this queen along on this charge. Did get the wall breaker, uh, or the walls popped using the wall breakers. Uh, they were under that rage. Air defense is down. Charging into this inferno tower goes ahead and pops ability. Uh, gets the expo, gets the IT, and you guys can already see uh, the funnel uh, slowly but surely getting created for what? For the goblins, and he is bringing twenty-seven uh, to this attack. All right, here comes the CC Hound. He's just going to be lolloing uh, through this uh, cannon, the Tesla, uh, the Wizard Tower, as well as the Eagle Artillery. You can see those balloons. Only using uh, 10 balloons uh, with that uh, uh, haste and a rage. Just got amazing, amazing value. Uh, so once he cleared that out, did drop a few minions. Again, uh, with 10v11, you're obviously trying to get the Town Hall. Uh, but often what's most important is getting that percentage, uh, which he is up to 46%. He's now at 48%. Uh, did drop a couple Valkyries to go ahead and beat through this trash right here. Again, uh, the first star has been secured. 
and he's at a very solid uh, 53 percent now once that barracks goes down there it goes uh, Valk's going to get through that army camp when his queen died uh, the healers did go ahead and start healing the Valkyries. Notice he drops one test Valkyrie. Here they come. 27 goblins. A solid two-finger drop. A raid spell right there in the core. Town Hall is down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those of you that have never used uh, the attack goblin knife, that's pretty much how I got my heroes to 40-40 you know, on my Town Hall 10. Uh, goblin knife style, 10 v. 11. Let me know. Uh, first, first of all, let me know if you guys have seen this attack. Uh, for those of you that have actually done it, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, when I saw this attack, I was so glad that he hit me up and said, you got to come over and check out this attack that I've been working on. And definitely was not a fluke or anything like that. Like I said, he has been practicing this. And we see Town Hall 11's coming in all shapes and sizes. Uh, but again, those of you that have used Goblin Knife, Goblins Under Rage just ripped through cores, and we saw it right here uh, with 10v11. Could not believe it. Um, so let me know what you guys think of the attack down in the comment section below. If you guys like the video, make sure you like it. Uh, comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.